Looking back to the time when the first airplane was invented, and then comparing those aircraft to what was available in World War II, and now our new technologically advanced military aircraft will simply leave you astonished. For example, imagine for a moment taking a modern aircraft carrier and sending it back to World War II like in the movie The Final Countdown. If you think about it, a single F-22 Raptor could possibly take out a 1940s enemy squadron all by itself, if it had enough weapons loaded, or maybe a single modern bomber could win an entire war alone. If you think that sounds impossible, then check out these insane military aircraft. XB-70 Valkyrie the XB-70 Valkyrie was the prototype version of the Plan B-70 nuclear-armed deep penetration strategic bomber for the United States Air Force which was designed back in the 1950s. It was designed by North American Aviation and had six jet engines which were capable of cruising for thousands of miles at speeds Mach 3 plus an altitude of 70,000 feet. Because the aircraft flew so fast, it was thought that the XB-70 would almost be immune to any other jet aircraft trying to shoot it down. The aircraft was so fast that it would only spend only a few minutes over a particular radar station, flying out of range before the controllers could position their fighters in a suitable location for an interception, and the high altitude could not be matched by any Soviet jet fighter at the time. But the introduction of the first Soviet surface-to-air missiles in the late 1950s put the near invulnerability of the B-70 in doubt. Therefore, missions were flown at low-level altitudes which offered no advantage over the B-52 bomber it was supposed to replace, and the project was scrapped. Only two of these $750 million aircraft were produced, with one that crashed as it collided with a smaller aircraft. The last remaining Valkyrie bomber is in the National Museum of the United States Air Force near Dayton, Ohio. North American X-15 Like many X-Series aircraft, the X-15 was designed to be carried aloft and drop launched from under the wing of a B-52 mothership and it used two reaction motors XLR-11 liquid propellant rocket engines, enhanced to provide a total of 16,000 pounds force of thrust. But by November 1960, Reaction Motors was able to deliver the XLR-99 rocket engine, generating 57,000 pounds force of thrust. The XLR-99 used anhydrous ammonia and liquid oxygen as propellants, and hydrogen peroxide to drive the high-speed turbopump that delivered propellants to the engine. It could burn 15,000 pounds of propellant in just 80 seconds. The X-15's official world record for the highest speed ever recorded by a manned, powered aircraft set in October 1967 when William J. Knight flew Mach 6.72 at 102,100 feet. That's a speed of 4,520 miles per hour and has remained unchallenged as of the making of this video. During the X-15 program, 13 flights by 8 pilots met the Air Force spaceflight criterion by exceeding the altitude of 50 miles, thus qualifying these pilots as being astronauts. Three X-15s were built, flying 199 test flights, the last on 24 October 1968. A-10 Thunderbolt II Moving on to something that is more current and in actual use, no military plane list would be complete without the A-10 Thunderbolt II, or more commonly referred to by the nicknames Warthog or just Hog. The A-10 was designed for close air support of ground troops, attacking armored vehicles and tanks, and providing quick action support against enemy ground forces. The Warthog entered service in 1976, and is currently the only production-built aircraft still serving in the United States Air Force that was designed solely for close air support. It is outfitted with what many call the gun, and for good reason. The 30 by 173 mm GAU 8-A Avenger autocannon is one of the most powerful air cannons in the air, and it fires large depleted 30 mm uranium armor-piercing shells. The GAU 8 is a hydraulically driven 7 barrel rotary cannon designed specifically for the anti tank role with a high rate of fire. Those 7 barrels are 7.5 feet long, and each one weighs 70 pounds along with an ammo drum that weighs 4,000 pounds. Its rate of fire is 50 rounds per second, increasing to 70 rounds per second, and has saved many ground soldiers' lives. And thankfully, the A 10 Thunderbolt 2 is to remain in service until the year 2021. Chengdu J-20 China has put the world on notice with its newly developed Chengdu J-20, 
It is a single-seat, twin-jet, all-weather, stealth fifth-generation fighter aircraft developed by China's Chengdu Aerospace Corporation for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. It is the world's third operational fifth-generation stealth fighter aircraft and the first in Asia. Most of the plane's avionics are top secret, and even the radar type of the jet fighter is unknown. But what is known is that the main weapon bay is capable of housing both short and long-range air-to-air missiles, while the two smaller lateral weapon bays behind the air inlets are intended for short-range AAMs. These bays allow closure of the bay doors prior to firing the missile, thus enhancing stealth with most of its weapons carried internally. The engines are also unknown, but the prototype is believed to be initially powered by WS-10 and or the AL-31F engines. China is currently working on an advanced domestic turbofan engine similar in performance to the Pratt & Whitney F-119 coded WS-15 to take the J-20 to a higher performance level in the future like the ability to supercruise. Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin The Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin is a Japanese experimental aircraft for testing advanced stealth fighter aircraft technologies. While it might not look like much, Many consider this aircraft to be Japan's first domestically made stealth fighter. Japan originally wanted to purchase the F-22 Raptor for air defense. However, the US Congress had banned the exporting of the aircraft in order to safeguard the secrets of the aircraft's technology such as its extensive use of stealth. This led to Japan having to design its own stealth fighter. The single-pilot aircraft equipped with two low-bypass turbofans that have a thrust of 11,023 pounds with afterburner and a maximum speed of Mach 2.25. However, this is all that is known about the aircraft. The X-2 Shin Shin is only an experimental test plane for the Mitsubishi ADT-X, of which there is only a model. But if the real thing will look anything like the model, Japan will have one good-looking stealth fighter. Rockwell B-1 Lancer the B-1 Lancer was first envisioned in the 1960s which would combine the Mach 2 speed of the Convair B-58 Hustler, which was the first operational jet bomber in the world capable of Mach 2, and have the range and payload of the B-52 Stratofortress. It is one of three strategic bombers in U.S. Air Force which is still in service. The B-1 Lancer has a blended wing body configuration with a variable sweep wing and four turbofan engines. The B-1's variable sweep wings and thrust-to-weight ratio provide it with improved takeoff performance, allowing it to use shorter runways than previous bombers. It's been refitted with a new smart weapons interface to enable the use of precision-guided conventional weapons. The Lancer has an enhanced capability for delivery of up to 30 cluster bomb units per sortie with modifications made to 50 bomb racks. In total, it can carry 125,000 pounds of ordnance. To get it and its payload off the ground, it is powered by four General Electric augmented turbofans delivering 17,390 pounds of thrust each that pushes the aircraft to a max speed of Mach 1.25 or 835 miles per hour. B-2 Spirit Many of you are probably familiar with the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. It is a flying wing designed with a crew of two that looks like something out of a futuristic sci-fi movie and the destructive capabilities of the B-2 match its awe-inspiring design. The bomber can deploy both conventional and thermonuclear weapons, such as 8,500-pound GPS-guided bombs or 16,2400-pound B-83 nuclear bombs. The B-52 is the only acknowledged aircraft that can carry large air-to-surface standoff weapons in a stealth configuration and is capable of all-altitude attack missions up to 50,000 feet with a range of more than 6,000 nautical miles on internal fuel and over 10,000 nautical miles with one mid-air refueling. The B-2 Spirit has been in service since 1997 and is only the second aircraft designed to have advanced stealth technology after the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk attack aircraft. Though designed originally as primarily a nuclear bomber, the B-52 was first used in combat dropping conventional non-nuclear ordnance in the Kosovo War in 1999. It later served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. The Shenyang J-31 also known as the Shenyang FC-31, this fighter is a twin-engine, mid-size, fifth-generation jet fighter under development by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. 
The J31 is smaller than the Chengdu J20. The fighter has two internal weapons bays that can each carry two medium range missiles, along with two heavy hardpoints and one light hardpoint on each wing. The engines that the plane will actually have once the design is finalized is top secret, but it's currently using two powerful Russian designed Klimov RD 33, which are used on the MiG 29, but China has a similar jet engine, the Guizov WS 13. The aircraft can carry 17,637 pounds of munitions with four internal munitions that keep the aircraft stealthy, but it can also carry bombs under its wings on hard points but gives away its signature to radar. Primary armaments include the PL-10 short-range missile and SD-10A medium-range air-to-air missile. The appearance of the J-31 raised concern about a potential arms race in Asia, as some of China's neighbors are pursuing the development of their own fifth-generation aircraft. The Russian Su-35 Russia's potent Sukhoi Su-35 Flanker E is a single-seat, twin-engine super-maneuverable aircraft and was first designed during the 1980s. It was an improvement on the Su-27 and was known as the Su-27M. The interesting thing is that the aircraft was not mass-produced because of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, and it was made to attract export orders with China and Indonesia ordering the aircraft. The canards, which are small lifting surfaces ahead of the wings, allow the airframe to sustain 10G maneuvers and the Su-35's thrust vectoring system and integrated flight and propulsion control systems allow the aircraft to maintain super maneuverability and enable it to perform post-stall maneuvers at low speeds. The aircraft employs the powerful N-035 Urbis E radar which is capable of detecting an aerial target up to 250 miles away. It is armed with an internal 30mm autocannon with 150 rounds, which isn't much considering the GSH-31 has a rate of fire of 1,800 rounds per minute, and after those 150 rounds, the barrel has to be replaced. However, the Sukhoi has 12 hard points and carries a wide variety of missiles and can carry 17,630 pounds of ammunition, enough to wipe out a small city on its own. But can it beat the United States Air Force F-22? The USAF F-22 Raptor The F-22 Raptor is an incredible and feared machine. In fact, many countries have tried to buy this aircraft, but the USA won't even sell it to its closest allies to protect its stealth technology and high-tech features. It is an all-weather, fourth-generation, stealth tactical fighter aircraft designed primarily as an air superiority fighter, but also has ground attack, electronic warfare, and signal intelligence capabilities. When the aircraft was introduced, the USAF stated that the aircraft was unmatched by any known or projected fighter. The Raptor's combination of stealth, aerodynamic performance, and situational awareness give the aircraft unprecedented air combat capabilities. The aircraft's dual Pratt & Whitney afterburning turbofan engines are closely spaced and incorporate 2D pitch axis thrust vectoring nozzles with each engine developing 35,000 pounds of force. It has an infrared and ultraviolet missile launch detector with active electronically scanned array, and the plane has more than 30 antennas blended into the wings and fuselage for all-around coverage. The Raptor has three internal weapons bays, a large bay on the bottom of the fuselage and two smaller bays on the sides of the fuselage aft of the engine intakes. An internally mounted M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon is embedded in the aircraft's right wing root, with the muzzle covered by a retractable door to maintain stealth. There are so many advancements on this aircraft that it would take a video on its own to accurately describe it. It is truly a remarkable aircraft. NASA X-43 the X-43 was part of NASA's HyperX program and was a small unpiloted test vehicle measuring just over 12 feet long and only weighed 3,000 pounds. The X-43A was designed to be fully controllable in high-speed flight even when gliding without propulsion. The craft was created to develop and test a supersonic combustion ramjet or scramjet engine, an engine variation where external combustion takes place within the air that is flowing at supersonic speeds. The X-43 did not take off on its own and was loaded on the belly of a B-52 Stratofortress bomber and then dropped from high altitude where it would then fire its Pegasus booster, separate from the booster, and switch to the scramjet. The first test failed as the booster moved off course and the craft was shot down for safety reasons. 
In the second test in March 2004, the Pegasus fired successfully and released the test vehicle at an altitude of about 95,000 feet. The engine air intake was opened, the engine ignited, and the aircraft then accelerated away from the rocket reaching Mach 6.83. With this flight, the X-43A became the fastest free-flying air-breathing aircraft in the world. We hope you enjoyed the video and want to know which one of these was your favorite. If you liked the video, then click subscribe and turn on notifications and you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.